Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to EFL Championship Predictions. We are back again because there's midweek action coming up and I'm joined by Sophie. How are you? Yeah, I'm very, very well, thank you. How are you? Yes, not too bad, thank you. Some great results over the weekend, of course, where our team is concerned as well. Uh, but there's some big games coming up in midweek. Yes. First things first, Sophie, the scores on the doors. I did just beat you again Great. in the championship, so I've extended my lead. Um, mm. As we keep saying, I'm doing well in the championship, but you're doing very well in the Premier League. Yeah, I so. think it's pretty safe to say that championship's yours. Prem's mine. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Sophie can close the gap. Before we get into the predictions, guys, we've been smashing 1,600 likes on every video for the last few in the championship. So make sure to drop a like. We'll go for 1,600 again. Can we do it, Sophie? Of course. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, we're closing in on 62,000 subscribers. We're working hard to get as many videos out to you guys. So show us some support. Like and subscribe. It's free to do. And let's go to the den, Sophie, for... The Lions versus the Foxes. It's Millwall versus Leicester City. Now let's start with the away side, Sophie. Leicester City are top of the league. And mm -hmm. I suppose we can say you're welcome. Yeah, a, a lot of their fans were saying thanks, you did us a favour. And I guess the week before they kind of did us a favour and beating Norwich, so we're even now. Yeah, it was a great weekend for Leicester City. They Perfect, yeah. got past Birmingham, they left it late, but the three points was the most important thing. And Leeds lost at Coventry. And Ipswich, yeah. Ipswich lost at Norwich. So all of a sudden the narrative has flipped and Leicester City now look the favourites. And they've still got the game in hand. They go away to Millwall, Sophie, who they did win at in the FA Cup. Millwall are a tricky one. They did do well under Neil Harris initially, but they've fallen back into trouble. They have, and it was a bit of a weird result at the weekend, to be honest. I didn't see that one coming, not to lose. So, yeah, the fans have got to be a little bit worried now. Well, I can say I saw it coming because I did predict Huddersfield 1-0. So it's definitely a big game for both teams, Sophie. Leicester, of course, chasing promotion. They need to stay in the top two. Millwall could do with something, maybe even a draw would help push them a bit further clear yeah. of trouble, but I just wonder if Leicester's confidence will be up after the weekend so. that's just gone, and it's back-to-back -back wins for them now. Going to go Millwall 1, Leicester 2. OK, I can see us being an edgy game purely because both teams need the win, really. As you say, maybe a draw would be enough for Millwall, but really they do need the three points. So I can see it being a low-scoring one, but for me right now, Leicester are looking good again so one nil for me one nil okay a low scoring one share your thoughts guys on the lions versus the foxes it's already a massive game i suppose they're all pretty massive at this stage of the season mm. on to the next one which is also massive it's at home park sophie plymouth versus qpr woof this is big i mean I before the weekend I'd have had QPR having a better chance of staying up. Yeah. But things have changed. Plymouth did beat Rotherham, which on paper is the most winnable game, but they still had to win it. Uh, and they have relegated Rotherham now. A big three points for Plymouth, Sophie. And they're back at home now where they need another result to, to build on it. And they take on QPR, who've been really good under Sifuentes. But what happened at home to Sheffield Wednesday? I don't know. I didn't see that one come in. Um, no. I did think Plymouth might get the new manager bounce. Um, big call, 1-0, actually. I got that right. But I didn't see QPR losing at home to Wednesday. Yeah, I still think QPR could rock up here and get the win. And get something, yeah. Um... I was tempted to go for a draw, if I'm being honest, Sophie, when I looked at this mm. one. With Plymouth being at home, I think they're more likely to get something than it being away. However, I'm going to go for Plymouth. Um, I think if they can follow up that win with another one, they're going to look pretty safe. Mm -hmm. It can it can just change over two games. And I'm going to go with Plymouth 2-1. Yeah, I'm going to go for another 1-0 Plymouth win. I don't think QPR are going to be in trouble for me. I do think they've got a couple more good results in them. But right now, with Plymouth being at home, they look better in their last game, albeit it was against Rotherham. But still, you can only beat what's in front of you. And I can see them doing it again. 1-0. 1-0. It would be a big result for the Pilgrims. Share your thoughts, guys. I still feel confident about QPR, but for some reason, I'm going for Plymouth on this one. Mm. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Deepdale. It's Preston North End versus Huddersfield Town. Now, Huddersfield are another team in the scrap, and I did back them to beat Millwall 1-0, and they did. did it. They left it 
late, but that could be crucial at the end of the season. Yeah. There's just something about Huddersfield that they just get over the line, don't they? Yeah, they do seem to, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. It's going to be tricky here going away to Preston, who need to get back to winning ways. A nil-nil draw away at Watford is not the end of the world, but with Coventry, Norwich, Hull, Middlesbrough all winning, Preston have lost some ground on yeah. the playoff race. Do you know what? I'm tempted to go for Preston, but... I'll, I'll be nice and give you an opportunity to catch up with me. I'm going to throw in a little surprise oh. here and say Preston nil, Huddersfield one. Oh. I'm going to back Huddersfield to win one nil again. I thought you were going to back a draw then, not an outright win. But okay, I, I don't think that's that much of a shock actually after Huddersfield's last result. Preston do need the win and I think they're capable of it. So I'm actually going to go 2-1 the other way. I do see Huddersfield getting a goal, um, but for me Preston are going to get the win. Yeah, once again they both need... A result, don't they? Yeah, they do. Really, Preston yeah. probably need the win more, given they're at home and they need to be more flawless to yes, get in the top six. Yeah. But Huddersfield are not going to roll over, and I think they're going to get three points. On to the next one, Sophie. I like this one. I'll be keeping an eye on this one on Tuesday. It's Sheffield Wednesday versus Norwich City. Now, Sophie, what have I said about Sheffield Wednesday all season? Oh, that they're staying up. I think they are. What a win at yeah. QPR. I didn't even back that. I went for a draw. <laughs> I went for a draw. But Sheffield Wednesday proved me wrong. They went but to they QPR went. and won. Yeah. And it just feeds into the narrative that I think they're going to do it. It looks like they might just leave it until the last game of the season to get out and stay up. Um, but they've got a lot of hard work still to do. But I think being at home for this gives them a real chance to make it back-to-back -back wins. Mm -hmm. They're against Norwich, Sophie, who are also going to be high on confidence. They've won the East Anglian derby, which it was always, for me, that was the best opportunity Ipswich would get. And they still couldn't beat them. No, I know. So fair play to Norwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do have Ipswich Town's number. And I think it's 15 years and counting in the East Anglian derby. <sighs> I'm going to go for it, Sophie. A big three points for Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday 2, Norwich 1. I just think Norwich are not as good away. They're, they're, they're mm. decent away, but they're much better at home. Yeah. I know this is probably what I want to happen as well, because you yeah, know, yeah. could do with Norwich dropping some points, but I don't think it's that out there to say Sheffield Wednesday win this one. No, I don't think it's that out there. And every time I go against Wednesday, they get a result. So I'm going to stick with that in the hope that Sheffield Wednesday do get a win. And I'm going to say Norwich 2-1. Okay. Obviously, I don't want that to happen because being a Coventry fan. So I'll be rooting for Wednesday, but I've just got a bad feeling that Norwich are going to get the win. Yeah. Hmm. They're a good team, aren't they, going forwards? It's it's probably one of my favourite games of the week, that. Sheffield Wednesday, desperate for the points. Norwich, desperate for the points. Share your thoughts, guys, on that game at Hillsborough. On to the next one, which we will be live streaming on the Tuesday. It is Southampton versus Coventry City. Let's start with Coventry, Sophie. How about that win against Leeds United? Oh, what a win. We said before the game we'd be happy with the draw. And we did better than that. And I actually think it was a pretty good performance. We didn't, we didn't play our best, but we limited Leeds and we made them look poor. So obviously it is a good performance. I thought the first half performance was really impressive. Yeah. Uh, second half, it was back to the wall, but I'm fine yeah. with that because we got the result over the line. Yeah, he made some defences, you, gonna... which you have to do against them. Oh, yeah, you're not going to dominate for 90 minutes against no. Leeds United. So Coventry did enough uh, and a great win, honestly, outrageous. We did actually do Southampton a favour there, but they didn't do themselves any favours because no. they had the opportunity to close the gap and get themselves back into it because Ipswich had lost and Leeds lost, but Southampton could only get a nil-nil at Blackburn. I know, that's... That was a little bit of a shocker for me, actually. It just kind of feeds into Southampton are going to finish in the playoffs. They're not going to fall out of the playoffs, but I don't think they're going to break into the top mm. two. So I think Coventry could get something here. And, you know, I, I think we could win, but I don't want to get too carried away. I predicted a draw for the last one. I was pleasantly surprised we got the win. I'll go for a draw on this one, which wouldn't be a disaster. Southampton won, Coventry won. Do you know what? I was going to go for the exact same because it was the same result at our place. But do you know what? I am getting carried away and I'm going to back us to win. 2-1 to the Sky Blues. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you're right. I mean, what Obviously. a win that would be. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult, isn't it? Who's, who's got the harder game this week? Coventry going to Southampton or Norwich going to Sheffield Wednesday? Because... Do you know, that's a, that is a tough one. I'd say they're equally as hard. Southampton have the better quality, but Wednesday have more to fight for. Exactly, yeah. I and mean, a better form, maybe. Yeah. I don't think Mark Grummers has the best record against Russell Martin, so that could play into this. But I think right now, Coventry need the win more. Yeah? Would you take a draw and run? 
Yeah, I would, but I said that before Leeds as well. Yeah, but yeah, you're going for a win, why not? Yeah. Okay, share your thoughts, Southampton and Coventry fans. And speaking of Leeds, they're up next. It's Leeds United versus Sunderland. This is a great matchup for the second division of English football. Two big clubs, Massive. but one's got a lot to play for, one really hasn't. Yeah. Um, Sunderland, a nil nil draw against Bristol City. It's better than losing, but I mean, come on, what does that say about Sunderland? It says it's been a poor season. It's not good. Um, as for Leeds United, they did lose, but I've seen quite a few Leeds United fans trying to have a positive spin on it. They felt like a defeat could be coming because they're not lost in ages. Coventry True. was potentially their trickiest game left. I think this really suits Leeds. They've had a hard reset. They're back at home against a team with not a lot to play for. Yes, Sunderland have got quality. And if, if they had something to play for and were in good form, they could give Leeds a go. But I think I'm going to go Leeds 2-0. I'm going to go a little bit heavy. I'm going to say Leeds 3-0. Because for me, Sunderland do look a little bit short on confidence right now. And also Leeds... I think they need a bit of a reaction after the Coventry game because they didn't play their best. They're back at home now with all their fans behind them and I think they're more than capable of getting the win and I think it could be a convincing one. So that's why I'm going quite heavy. 3-0. 3-0, yeah. And their goal difference is already good enough but yeah. just got to get three points. Mm -hmm. They can't drop points in this one. Uh, I think the next game for Leeds is Blackburn at home so a real opportunity to stick six, six points, points on the board. Yeah. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to St Andrews. It's Birmingham City versus Cardiff City. Hmm. Blues, do you know what? They gave Leicester a go, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, they took it to quite late on, and I actually thought, oh, they're going to get a point here. But mm. then, yeah, they they've, ended up losing. They've been in every game under Gary Rowett. They yeah. just lost at QPR. They've just lost to Leicester, but they did beat Preston at home 1-0. And I think they could win this one at home. I'm going to go 1-0 Blues. Cardiff are so frustrating when it comes to these predictions. And as a Cardiff City fan said in the previous video, whenever I back them to win, they don't. Whenever I don't, they do. So Cardiff fans, you'll be happy with this. I'm backing you to lose. Uh, Birmingham surely got more to play for. 1-0. Yeah. I'm finding it hard to separate the two here. I won't lie. That's why I'm thinking just go down the middle. Just because I can see that Birmingham will probably go 1-0 up. And again, concede fairly late on and just walk away with a point and you almost feel like you've dropped points. So I'm going to be boring and say 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Mm. You can see a draw playing out. Yeah, well, I, 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 no, I think it'd be a low scoring game. Yeah. I think that's what I agree with you on. Next up, Soph, let's go to Ashton Gate. What do you make of this one? Bristol City versus Blackburn Rovers. Um, Bristol City, mid-table, not going up or down. Blackburn Rovers, still not safe yet, but a good couple of results recently. Beating Sunderland 5-1, getting a draw against Southampton. Mm -hmm. I think they'll probably be okay. I think so, yeah. A draw here would definitely give them you know, another point towards survival. If they can win, it would be massive. Bristol City are a good team, though. Just a bit inconsistent. Yeah. Bristol City do tend to play better against better teams. Mm -hmm. I just think this one's going to be a draw. I did get a telling yeah. off from a Bristol City fan in the last video because I predicted them to draw with Sunderland and he said, why would you do that? And well, they did. It's because they drew. Yeah, it's I'm, because I'm, they will. Who's winning in the championship predictions, okay? Have a go at Sophie, not me. Um, for this one, I'm going to go for another draw. Bristol City 1, Blackburn 1. Oh, after all that, they probably will give me a telling off. But in fairness, any time I go against Bristol City, they end up winning. And I'm going against them this week. I feel like Blackburn need it more. Right now, Bristol City, their season's pretty much over. They've got nothing to fight for. Blackburn, they're not safe just yet. So 1-0 to Ooh, Rovers. 1-0 to Rovers. I can see that. Mm. I can see that. I just think Blackburn are starting to hit a bit of form a at little, the right time. A little bit, yeah. Not insane form, but yeah. enough, yeah. Four points in the last two games is really good, to be honest. On to the next one. Let's go to Hull City versus Middlesbrough. I like this, Sophie. Mm -hmm. Two teams level on points just outside the playoffs. And I've already got this in my head as the loser won't make the playoffs. Ooh, because okay. It's a big shout, but well, the, I don't, I, it, it, there's not many games left, to be honest. No, I think both teams have got to be pretty flawless. Hull City have got a little bit more wiggle room because they've got a game in hand against Coventry. Yeah. Uh, Middlesbrough, they've got to be really flawless to make the playoffs, but they have been winning a lot yeah. recently. Yeah. But so, you know, Hull City, they're back to winning ways. 3-1 uh, away at Cardiff. I think there'll be goals, and although they both need to win, I'm going to go for a slightly unhelpful draw. I just mm. think they might cancel each other out. Hull, okay. C Hull City may be slight favourites because they're at home, but 
they're actually better away than they are at yeah, home. Yeah. At least that's what I've observed recently. Yeah. Uh, I'll go 2-2. Two, two. Okay, um, I am going to pick a winner and it's going to be the more informed side at the moment and that's Middlesbrough. Ooh. It's interesting because Robins and Carrick seem to end the season really strong. If they just started the season as they end it, they'll be absolutely fine, they'll be top two. But I think their form's going to continue and they're going to beat Hull. And that is a statement, isn't it? So 2-1 Borough. Yes, as I said, both need to win. Maybe yes. because Middlesbrough have got one less game left, they need it a little bit more. Need it a little bit more, yeah. but that might sound a bit unfair on Hall City. Share your thoughts, guys. I, honestly, I don't know. On to the next one. We're going to Portman Road, Sophie. It's Ipswich Town versus Watford. Now, Ipswich, it was a hard reset. It's always horrible losing the derby, especially mm. with the stakes being so high. But Coventry City did them a favour. Ipswich are still in the top two. Yeah, it's just a shame they didn't do us a favour. Yeah, I, I've got to be honest, it's such fans. Aggrieved. I'm um, a little bit annoyed about this because mm. we went and beat Leeds for you. You couldn't even take a draw off Norwich. No. That said, um, I think they'll fancy themselves at home here mm -hmm. against Watford, who are they're drawing a lot. They've drawn their last three games, mm -hmm. and I think it could be close. They might be close to getting a draw, yeah. but Ipswich have that knack of stealing three they points yeah. late on. So I'm going to say Ipswich two, Watford one. Yeah, I'm going for the exact same, and I think it's going to be late drama again because that tends to be the case with Ipswich, where you think, oh, okay, the game's nearly done now. It's probably just going to be one one, and then they somehow get the win and you're like oh god they've done it again and i think that is going to be the case again against watford because watford are a decent side as you said they picked up a few draws they could well frustrate ipswich here but for me ipswich the role they're on bar their last game i think they're capable of winning this so 2-1 two, 2-1 one. Two, one. yeah both going for the tractor boys to edge that one share your thoughts down below guys Although Watford haven't got a lot to play for, you feel like they might be able to trip hip switch up, but there mm. you go. They're both going for the Tractor Boys nonetheless. On to the next one. It is Swansea City versus Stoke City. Stoke aren't safe yet, uh, but no, they, they, did, right. they did get a crucial draw against West Brom, which just pushes them yeah. a little bit further clear. Uh, I mean, technically Swansea aren't safe yet, but I think they will be. Mm. It just depends on the teams below them. It could be that in midweek, Sheffield Wednesday, Plymouth, Huddersfield, they're all picking up wins and then everyone else is like, oh, hang on, yeah. Yeah, we're not safe, not safe yet. yet yeah. um, I'll go for a draw. I think this is a, a cagey matchup where mm. Swansea, their form's been a bit inconsistent. They need to, need to not lose at least. I know that sounds pretty negative, but they need to not lose. Um, yeah. And Stoke, they could just do with something. A draw would be decent. I'll go 1-1. One, one. Okay, I'm going to go 1-0 Stoke. I'm going to pick Ooh. a winner. Yeah, I think the performance they put in against West Brom and actually in like recent weeks, there's been a bit more fight there and I think they're more than capable of getting three points here. 1-0 Stoke. Yeah, it'd be a big result. I think they're would, probably yeah. in slightly better form, but yeah, I mean, Swansea, you've got to be careful, I guess, if they yeah. keep dropping points. Mm. Who knows? We'll see where we are at the weekend. Next up, Sophie, the final game, actually, it's at the Hawthorns. It's West Bromwich Albion versus Rotherham United. Now, I've been saying to, you know, yourself, George, a few people, that West Brom are not there yet. Although they look pretty comfortable in fifth place, they keep drawing, which is allowing other teams to just close in on them a little bit. Yeah. But this fixture <laughs> is so nice. Yeah. It's come at the right time for West Brom, let's be honest. You know, if it was... Um, I don't know, Leicester at home, you'd be a bit like, oh, West Brom, the, yeah. they might drop some more points. But surely, against relegated Rotherham, at home, West Brom are going to get three points. And I think it'd be comfortable. Sure. Um, commiserations, Rotherham, as we've said, you know, not a great season. We expect you to do well next year. Uh, but now you've got not anything to play for. Does it mean you'll be even worse? It could, cool. be, could mean you're actually a bit better. Probably better, yeah. Uh, but you can't, you can't get anything at West Brom, in my opinion. I'll go 3-0. I think that's a bit harsh saying you won't get anything at West Brom. I think they could get a draw. If they're playing with that freedom, they've got no pressure now. They're down. They're yeah. down and out. So they've got nothing to play for, whereas West Brom do really. They need the win. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually be that surprised if Rotherham did somehow get a draw. I'm not going to go as, as far to say like they'll get a win, but no. it could be another draw. I'm not going to back it though because I'm too far behind. So I'm going to say a West Brom 2 0 win. 2 0. Yeah. Of that, yeah. As I say, West Brom, they're not being bad, but drawing just suggests they're performing like a mid table team. And, yeah. and if there was a few more games to go, maybe Coventry and Norwich could both catch them. Yeah. But I just think they might have done enough. And if they win this, takes them to 72, they're nearly there. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. 
That wraps up the championship predictions though, Sophie, for midweek. Some tasty games. Yeah. Very tasty. Share your predictions down in the comments. It's free to comment your predictions. It's also free to drop a like. We're going for 1,600. And it's also free to subscribe. And it really helps the channel. So hit the subscribe button. And uh, thank you for joining me, Sophie. Thank you. We'll be back with the weekend predictions for the championship on Thursday. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.